Hey there, it's Amanda here. Just jumping on quickly to share some information that I was talking with a friend about this morning. Um, she was talking about a Project 333 that she's doing on Facebook and she's so excited about the changes and it all makes sense to me because you know I work with clients with this all the time. But basically Project 333 is about only having 33 items in your wardrobe uh, for three months at a time and every three months as the seasons change you change to the next 33 items for the next season which is a really simple way of living and she was sharing with me some of the the ups of doing it and it's really been transformational for her kids especially because when it comes to kids wardrobes <laughs> it's one thing for us to maintain a tidy wardrobe but expecting our kids to do the same thing when they have a lot of clothing can be really challenging so this Facebook live is about how to create a simple wardrobe that's fun for kids and this Project 333, which if you want to, check it out on Facebook, it's really easy to find. Using that concept of only having 33 items of clothing for three months, is it's pretty fantastic. Because for kids, most kids, they just want to get dressed. They don't really care what they're going to be wearing. Uh, so the less they have in their wardrobe, the better. Um, and so when you're going through this process, when you know you're only going to have 33 items, for example, you're being very selective with what you keep. And so for kids, if you're only keeping their favourite colours and their favourite items, when they go to their wardrobe each day, they're actually picking things that they like to wear and it's easy to find. They have more confidence in being able to help themselves, not even having to ask mum for help. And it's really easy to maintain so they don't get the mess, or not as much of a mess, as when you have lots of clothing in your wardrobe. So yeah, Project 333 sounds pretty good. Um, the other thing I look at too is what's not fun uh, for, for our kids. And when we have a lot in, a, in their wardrobes, because whether it's hand-me-downs or we've bought a lot of things on sale, there actually can be an overwhelm that comes with trying to find what they need. And yeah, of course the mess is another big one. And it's very easy to lose items as well, which can cause frustration and then you have meltdowns. And the list goes on so for me I always say less is best and I love the idea of just 33 items of clothing it's a really great way to start the process and it's a really fun activity to do with the kids because when you say it's a project and you tell them the concept and they get them involved they get to choose what they want to keep in their wardrobe um, yeah it's, it can be really fun for everybody and the upside which I didn't really expect this but I kind of understand it is she's saying she's doing less laundry which is that's a that's a fantastic result and I think the reason for that is when you have less you're more likely to reuse um, items over and over rather than just throw them in the washing machine after you've worn them once or for a few hours when you realize at the end of the day the shorts that you're wearing aren't even dirty because you haven't even gone outside the kids are more likely to wear them again the next day so you're not washing every item after everywhere so less laundry is a big benefit and of course if you're only having 33 items of clothing in a wardrobe that's less money. You're not spending as much. You're learning to use and reuse what you've already got and you're enjoying what you have. The kids are loving their clothes. I mean, I've got three children, but most, of them, actually all three of them, have their favourite clothes and they wear the same things over and over. So why buy things they're not going to even wear? So, and of course, less mess. So less laundry, less money and less mess. It's a win-win. <laughs> Anyway, that's my life for today. A very simple wardrobe that's fun for kids using Project 333. Check them out on Facebook and yeah, let me know in the comments if this is something that you think you might like to try and if you do, how you go with it. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.